Hi, my name is Jamie. Today we will discuss how to add an Aruba Instant Access Point to Airwave. Let's begin by clicking System in the upper right hand corner. Let's give it one second. Let's select the Admin tab. This is where the information for the Airwave server is input. The organization consists of the organization name followed by the subfolders in which you wish to place the AP in. But in this case, we will manually be selecting the folder for the AP once we get it into Airwave. So we will uh, we'll go with Airheads in this case. Next will be the IP address of the Airwave server. Then we'll input the pre-shared key. It, it can be anything you choose. It just has to be the same in Airwave and on the IAP. It's also, it is used to log into Airwave by the, by the master. So let's, uh, we'll go to Airwave. You'll see there is a new device that is up and it is indeed the Airheads virtual controller. We're going to select that device and you'll see where it says group. We're going to put it in the Airheads group and we'll leave it in the top folder. It is recommended to import in monitor only mode as to not get any undesired configuration changes. So we're going to add it. And this is kind of a confirmation page that tells you where it's going into which folder and group. There's also some scheduling options and you can you can configure that to finish at a time in the future. But we're going to go ahead and, and complete it. The device will it'll appear to go down. As you can see we have a down AP but very shortly it should return and as you'll see there's two devices now there is the virtual controller and also the access point itself. Now we have successfully added this virtual controller for the instant AP to Airwave. Hope this was helpful. We will get into some of the other capabilities of Airwave in later videos.